I became a chiropractor partly because of my belief of the stature of the human being, that it is, we are designed to be healthy, our system is down to, designed to be in balance, and if it is not in balance, if symptoms show up, there's a misalignment somewhere, an interference, and what a chiropractor does is remove the interference so balance can come back. So um, I, I know the experience that we individually are like little adjustments to the human condition. Any one of us coming back into balance, not only in our own dignity and our own divine nature, but our own orientation in the infinite and the divine has a chance to bring health and homeostasis to all of humanity. So any time you think you don't have value or power, that's all you need to do is be in true identity and you're affecting the whole body of mankind. You are an adjustment to the status quo, which has gotten used to dysfunction. You know, a great meal, a great bottle of wine, a great, well, I, I can go down the list of things that make me temporarily happy. <laughs> Even a good rainstorm, you know, it does, it passes. And if it was for self-centered reasons, um, I'm looking for the next one. But if I'm finding pleasure and joy and touching the infinite in my service to fellow man, in my service to the planet, it is sustainable and connected to all the people who are serving. But because I don't think we realize how much we are connected to other people who are serving. Anytime you are vibrationally touching the infinite and doing something of that level, everything that's at that level is connected. It's, I know it for a fact, you can question me about it later, but I have, if we know the experience of watching tragedy on television and feeling in our system the awfulness of how that is, we have to know that the other is also true. That the glory of doing something in the world is connected just as much as the pain of the dysfunction is. Many times when we think about the infinite, we only think of this way, going forward. But the infinite, really, it's connected it's infinite, from the beginning till the end. And any time we go up, we have a chance to vibrationally change that which has gone before, that which has fallen, that which is no longer functioning at the natural and normal and healthy place. I've done a lot of teaching and coaching over the years, and one of the things I have found is by doing work in that range, you actually can change your history. You no longer see what happened in the same, with the same set of eyes. You actually feel that the pattern has shifted. When our humanity, when our humanness, when our physicality becomes the focus of our life, we end up trying to make that better and better instead of seeing our connection to the infinite. Some of you have seen this quote on either Facebook or in a card, a sympathy card, but a friend of mine who's just lost their daughter, posted it on Facebook again. It's the one, the passage that says, I have not gone anywhere. I'm still in the room. Please talk about me as if I'm still here. Our, can, our relationship still exists. And it goes on and on. And I think that it is an indication of the relationship with infinity. Like, just because my human body isn't here doesn't mean our connection isn't still in place. Doesn't mean I am, am not still here with you. We are infinitely connected. And when the form changes, it doesn't mean that the, the, the design might have changed, but the relationship is still present. And as we have that experience with the infinite and the invisible, we know that more and more because it becomes more familiar. It becomes more our home. It becomes a place where we live as opposed to a place we visit. Something cracks open in me of the wonder of, of life. And something cracks open in me when I see a look on a woman or a man's face who has touched the wonder of being at the top of the mountain. And what my job is, is to serve there, to be serving there so that they know it's always present and they can come back anytime. <laughs>